All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to find delivery hotspots on Uber Eats, guys, so like this, okay? You'll see these heat maps here. You're going to see it's going to be red, it's going to be the highest demand, and then orange and kind of slightly yellow. So those are the places with the highest demand during a peak time, actually, guys. So I'm going to explain to you how you can do that exactly, guys. So how do you find a hotspot? Basically, you look for the icons and colors right here, guys. And on the heat map and warmer areas are where you expect greater demand. So you want to, these icons like help you to locate, you know, restaurants or areas and stores with the highest demand in the neighborhood. Okay. Certain times, you know, peak times usually, they're usually labeled by name and a business guys. And, you know, for example, the cafes, the bars, because there's grocery stores, there's retail shops. Okay. And there's also dots that indicate other businesses that are nearby guys. You can tap any red dot to navigate there okay so okay the colors show different things okay there's red red means the busiest orange and then yellow okay gray dots mean you know a store is not really busy at the moment like we have some stores around there they're not really busy like you can see here in between these red spots and orange spots there's some gray areas those are not busy so for example if it's a dinner only restaurant in the morning it's not gonna be busy of course okay so how long would you expect to wait? You know, it depends on the city, time, restaurant, store. But if you're near a hotspot, it could lead to, you know, shorter wait times for delivery requests than if you're not nearby a hotspot. So if you cannot see this career heat map, guys, if you cannot see this, it's probably because you have turned on both rides and delivery, guys. You need to turn only on your deliveries and turn off your rides, at least during the peak times in your preferred areas do that and if you still have issues just restart your device many people once they restart their device things work out for them and they are able to see the heat map they still have issues then you can reach out to support through the app guys okay so that's literally that simple guys so if this video helps make sure you like comment and of course guys make sure to subscribe